in the realm of life. It's not what man says. It's what God said. You just have to believe what God says. But the Bible says to study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. In order to believe what God said, you've got to study to find out what God said. You have got to balance out tradition against the Word of God. And when tradition says something, to hell with tradition because tradition will drive you to hell. And then what God has to say will drive you to heaven. And the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Nowhere in the scriptures does it say Mary. Nowhere do you find a Pope. Nowhere do you find a baptism as a means of salvation. Nowhere do you find in the Bible going to church saves your soul. Those are traditions of man and Satan. And how do we value traditions? Well, they're like armpits. Everybody's got a set of them and they stink. And let me tell you, hell stinks of sulfur. And you can believe in a tradition and end up eternity in hell Or you can believe in the very word of God and go to heaven. Now, I am stricter than most. And not only am I King James only, but I am the King James only. And the Bible says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and the mouth is confessed unto, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Well, what is righteousness? Well, I'm not going to ask any politician because every politician is going to call evil good and good evil. It's a joke that the state of Florida spends money on how for you to quit smoking. And yet, I got the answer for quit smoking. Don't legalize it. Oh, then you won't get tax money. You see, what man says is foolish. Drink responsible. Try telling that to a family that has to bury a loved one because some idiot got drunk and drove a car and killed. How about instead of drink responsibility, drink responsibility, how about just make alcohol illegal? Oh, we can't get tax dollars. 
So the government says it's evil, it's good, and good is evil. So alcohol, tobacco is good for you because we can get tax money. And your doctor says it's unhealthy. And then charges you a copay. And yet God calls it sin. And God says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, I may not drink tobacco, I may not drink alcohol, but I've sinned, and I'm not going to tell you my sins, and you have sinned. What one sin you don't do, you do another sin. How's that? I can, there's a sin I can tell you I can do. I am very impatient. That's a sin. Now that's not the big top ten sin, but there is no top ten of sin. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And when it comes to sin, the Bible says, not tradition, the Bible says, we have the Lamb of God. God, which take away the sin of the world. Well, I'm going to have religion take away. No, religion is not the lamb. I'm going to have Mary take away. No, Mary is not the lamb. I'm going to have baptism. Baptism is not the lamb. The Bible says that the only cure for sin is the Lamb. The Lamb of God. I mean, don't go run to the meat department and grab lamb chops. That's not going to save you. It may taste good. You see, tradition will say baptism, tradition will say church attendance, tradition will say give, tradition will say marry, tradition... What did God say? God said, the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. That's what God said. Well, preacher, my church says Mary. What, did, what does God say about Mary? There's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Mary don't fit. She's a female. Mary's not a male. And Mary's not Christ Jesus. Now the verse again. For there's one mediator, one, between God and man, between the Almighty God and man. There's one mediator, the man, can't be a female, Christ Jesus. Mary's not a man and Mary's not Christ Jesus. So God has overrid tradition by his word. So what does God say? God says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's what God said. Tradition says, eat and drink Jesus. God said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Again, it's what God said, 
overrides tradition. Now the Bible says we're all sinners. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Well, not me, preacher. I'm yes, me and you are sinners. And the fact is that we are sinners. We're going to die. The wages of sin is death. You know why you're going to die? COVID-19. No. That may be a cause, but it's not the cause. Cancer is a cause of death, but it's not the cause. The wages of sin is death. And when you say you have no sin, not only do you make God a liar, but when you are buried in the ground or in the tomb or turned to ashes, you make yourself a liar. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Well, eternal life is through our church. That's tradition. What did God say? God said the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Notice our Lord. Because the Apostle Paul tells us that there are other Jesuses out there. Satan has a Jesus. Religion has a Jesus. The world has a Jesus. And you may have a Jesus that's not the Jesus. And your Jesus may be according to tradition and not to what God has said. Another tradition. Come to church Sunday morning. That's a tradition. Bring them in. Bring them in. No, that's a tradition. You know what God said? God said, go into the world and preach the gospel. That's what God said. I could invite you to church Sunday morning, but you may not survive the Sunday morning. How about just preaching the gospel to you right now? I mean, the average Baptist believes Jesus is coming. Amen. Glory to God. But Jesus waited a little longer than Sunday morning. Because Jesus, you got to hold off to my message I got to preach Sunday morning. Because my message is so important that you got to hold off the rapture. If you really believe that Jesus was coming, you'd be preaching the gospel like he told you to do. Again, it's tradition versus. 
what God said. Another tradition. Everybody's going to heaven. What God said, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. God never said everybody's going to heaven. Matter of fact, he says quite opposite. So my question for you today is, are you putting your faith in, in faith in trust and tradition, which is not what God said, or are you putting your faith and trust in what God said? There's a big difference. There's a vast difference between heaven and hell. Now, tradition says that one particular religion over another can get you to heaven. And yet God said, How you doing? I am the way, Jesus speaking, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's what God said. That's not what tradition says. Again, Jesus told the religious people of his time, you make the you make the word of God of no none effect through your tradition. What God said will get you to heaven, and tradition will get you to hell. What God said is the way to heaven. And what tradition says is the way to hell. You want to go to hell? I advise you not to. Trust tradition. You want to go to heaven? Believe what God said. Tradition and religion says get rid of the blood. Get rid of icky, gooky blood. God said, by the precious blood of the Lamb without spot. That they pierce his side in water and blood. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from all sin. Tradition and religion says what did God say? Tradition gets you to hell. What God said will get you to heaven. Jesus said, go in the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. What's tradition say? Bring him to church. Show him a movie. Let's have a fellowship.
That's not what God said. And what God says is important, doesn't it? We're King James Bible believing. Are you? There's a vast dis difference between tradition and what God said. Tradition will get you to hell. What God says will get you to heaven. Tradition says, I'm a good person. The word of God says, there's none that do it good. That's a big difference. Tradition of the Jehovah Witness. Jesus is not God. The Word of God says, My Lord, my God. Okay, who's in error? Tradition or the Bible? When the Bible says, let God be true, it'll be man a liar. Tradition says the Pope. What's the Bible say? Jesus said, I am the door. Big difference. One will get you to heaven, Jesus. One will get you to hell, tradition. What does God say versus what tradition says? Tradition says the sacrament, the mass, the wafer, the host. And what's the word of God say? And this and the flesh profiteth not little, nothing. You see, religions can run to the Bible and misquote the Bible with their tradition. Because their tradition is not what God said. And the main important thing is, what did God say? Rather than what tradition says. Because tradition will get you to hell. And what God said will get you to heaven. All right, so what does tradition say? Tradition said, use the Romans road. What does the Bible say? Paul never used the Romans road. So find me one place Paul said, okay, the Romans rose. Again, what does tradition say that goes to hell? And what does God say that leads to heaven? The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's what God said. 
God said in his word, he that has the Son hath everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. God said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. What's tradition say? Tradition, I can't know. What's the Bible say? These things I have written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. Something's wrong with tradition. And something's right with what God says. And tradition could be any church denomination. Tradition says, name it, claim it. What's the Bible say? Study the life of Paul. You know what Paul said? Oh, Lord God, I got this ache. I got this thorn in the flesh. Oh, Lord God, three times. God said, hey, I ain't taking it away. But God, the church says, name it, claim it. God's laughing. You see, tradition, what did God say? Tradition said, well, God won't cast anybody into hell. What does God say? Depart from me, prepare for the for hell that's prepared for the, for the devil and his angels. That he that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And death and hell were cast in the lake of fire that burneth forever. This is the second death. Morning. Tradition is not the word of God and leads to hell. God is the word of God and leads to heaven. And man is so foolish. And the devil's so slick. And God is always right. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 